Correct clearance in the bearing is essential to prevent bearing damage and to reach the maximum bearing service life. This is why the SKF drive up method was developed. It is SKF's preferred method for mounting medium and large size SKF bearings on tapered seatings, including shafts and sleeves. Compared to the well-known feeler gauge method, the SKF drive-up method consistently gives you better accuracy and is quicker, and no special training is required to get good results time after time. The method achieves the correct radial clearance reduction in the bearing and the correct interference fit on the shaft. Furthermore, the method can be used on sealed spherical roller bearings where it is impossible to use feeler gauges. In order to obtain reliable drive-up measurements, the influence of form errors must be reduced to negligible proportions. This can be done by first driving the bearing up a short distance on the seating to ensure that the bearing is completely in contact with the seating. Above this small initial interference, reduction in the radial internal clearance may be regarded as being directly proportional to the axial drive-up distance. To perform the method, you need a pump with a digital pressure gauge, an SKF HMV hydraulic nut and a dial indicator. The values required to mount the bearing can be found at skf.com forward slash mount or by using the SKF drive up method program available free from skf.com. Now let's show you how to use the SKF drive up method program to calculate the pump pressure at the starting position and also from the starting position the axial movement. Within the program we have five different options. One, the bearing can be mounted straight onto a tapered seat. Two, it can be mounted on an adapter sleeve without the requirement to position against a shoulder on a shaft. Three, or mounting against a shoulder on a shaft using an adapter sleeve with a spacer ring. In this case, the adapter sleeve is pulled through the bearing and would move against the bearing bore and shaft surfaces. And we have a withdrawal sleeve with a support ring due to mounting against a shoulder on the shaft with a thread on the shaft for mounting the hydraulic nut. 5. And here we have an alternative method of mounting with a withdrawal sleeve where a support plate is mounted to the end of the shaft instead of a threaded section. In this case, a larger hydraulic nut is required. In this example, we have chosen a 23160 CCK W33 bearing. First, we select the application that is mounted straight onto a tapered seat. Then, we have to select the bearing series, SRB231, and the correct bearing designation, 23160. After selection, we can see the size of hydraulic nut needed for this application. When it comes to clearance reduction, for normal applications with a normal load, we select 0.45 per millimeter. If you have further questions, you can always press one of the question marks to get more information. By 45 per mil, we have a clearance reduction of 0.135 millimeter. Now we have to select how often the bearing has been mounted. In this example, we will select more than six times. If we would have another material other than steel, we can also change the data for the steel factor. When we then go to calculate, we get a result for the pump pressure for the starting position of 2.82 MPa and the drive-up axial movement is 1.54 mm. When finished, you can generate a report in a PDF format and print it out if needed. Now we should coat the seating with a light coating of thin oil and then place the bearing on the seating and then mount the SKF HMV hydraulic nut. Check the bearing has the correct designation. Connect the pump with a digital pressure gauge to the hydraulic nut. The first part of the mounting procedure is to apply the calculated pressure to the hydraulic nut. 
This corresponds to the starting position. Install the dial indicator and set it to the calculated value. And drive the bearing up the seating until the dial indicator reads zero. The bearing is now mounted correctly. Allow the oil to drain naturally for 20 minutes, then depressurize the nut. Disconnect the pump and remove the nut. Finally, install the appropriate locking device. The SKF drive-up method is well proven and enables technicians to consistently and reliably perform correct and accurate bearing mounting. SKF can supply all the tools required to allow you to enjoy the benefits of the method. For more information, go to skf.com or contact your local authorized SKF distributor.